Gas kinda sucks. I mean, it got us to where we are today, but after a while it just stopped being cool. Gas is expensive, it's killing the environment, and eventually we're gonna run out of it. So what if we use something else to fuel our cars? Like, for instance, water. Could we use water as a fuel for our cars instead of gas? Can we make a water-powered car? We already harness some power from water with water wheels and hydroelectric dams, but for a water-powered engine to work, it would need to harness the chemical power of water. The reason gas is good as fuel is because the molecules in gasoline have power stored inside them. Energy can't be created or destroyed, and gasoline is like a fully charged battery. A car extracts the stored energy with the only logical method. Explosions. Lots of them. And this is how the appropriately named combustion engine works. By blowing up gasoline to move pistons that generate power for the car to move. And already we can find a problem with using water as engine fuel. Water on its own isn't combustible or even able to store energy. However, oxygen and hydrogen, the two elements that make up water, are extremely combustible when they're mixed together but not chemically bonded. So if we break water down into its base elements, then we end up with what's known as oxyhydrogen, a mixture of these two gases that has enough stored energy to power an engine. We can break water down into oxyhydrogen surprisingly easy by using a process called electrolysis. And what's amazing is that when you combust oxyhydrogen, the waste is just water. Simple, clean, good for the earth, water. So it would be as if your car is fueling itself up again. But there is a big problem with this. Electrolysis works by running an electric current through water. We need to put electricity into the system to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. And remember, energy can't be created or destroyed. So if our output is the exact same as our input, that means we didn't really gain anything. It's like rolling a boulder up a hill just to roll it back down. The boulder ends up in the same spot. It just took a lot of effort to get there. Even if we made the most efficient engine in the world, the most we could theoretically get from this water-powered engine is the same amount of energy that we put in to begin with. Now, this could be a good system for storing energy. You could split the water now and use its elements for fuel later. That's even the idea behind hydrogen cars. The hydrogen acts like a battery that turns back into water when its energy is used up. But this can only be used to store energy. It can't be used to generate energy. If water is the waste product after oxyhydrogen's energy has been used up, then that's it. We can't make a water-powered engine. It'd be like running a car on dead batteries. But this idea for a water-powered engine is a closed system. We can't add any more energy to the system than what's already in the system. But what if we added gases from the atmosphere into our water engine? What if we bring in new elements to give our engine more energy? We can separate the water into oxygen and hydrogen, then put them into two separate tanks instead of combining them. Then we mix both gases with outside air, so there's enough oxygen for the hydrogen to react, and enough hydrogen for the oxygen to react. If this worked, our engine could release up to twice as much energy and create twice as much water than it started with. But this is also impossible. The air we breathe is around 21% oxygen, so we can mix our hydrogen with air to create enough oxyhydrogen to be usable as fuel. However, less than one millionth of our atmosphere is hydrogen. If we mixed our oxygen with normal air, the oxygen would dissipate before it could mix with enough hydrogen to use as fuel. The truth is that oxygen on its own is going to be pretty useless. Hydrogen stores energy, and oxygen is an oxidizer. It supports combustion, but it doesn't combust on its own or with the other elements in the atmosphere. Which actually is very nice to know, otherwise there would be a lot of spontaneous fires in the air. This is why we have hydrogen powered cars and not oxygen powered cars. But don't get me wrong, oxygen is extremely important. We need oxygen to get the energy that's in hydrogen, we need oxygen to get the energy in gasoline, we need oxygen so our bodies can extract energy from our food. But on its own, oxygen just can't do much. We would need to add some other fuel to the oxygen to make it useful in our engine. And that just defeats the point of a water-powered engine if it needs another fuel source. So in conclusion, buy an electric car. Then its engine will technically be about 7% water-powered. Thanks, dams. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!